Hello, I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about rendering in Adobe After Effects for Internet. So, uh, especially for YouTube, if you want to upload videos on YouTube, uh, you must make sure that the quality is good enough. Um, but recently it's become really easy to uh, accomplish the best render results uh, in according to uh, and definitely if I look back at my past I had a lot of difficulties at the beginning of my video editing career uh, to render and the rendering settings were so such a pain and I didn't understand anything about them and I never could quite figure it out how to upload a decent video online so uh, right now I will be doing a video on After Effects CC 2015 so if you have an older ver version this tutorial might not work for you um, but I guess you will still learn something from it so so um, if you would go to After Effects new composition, the first and most important thing are your composition settings. If your composition settings aren't good enough, uh, then the result of your video will be crappy as well. Uh, so we have to know that recently right now uh, on YouTube what is very uh, popular right now is Full HD and they also start with 4K but at this point in time it's not really important to go for 4K uh, if you have Full HD videos and uh, that's fine and in most cases that's good enough so uh, just go for 1920 by 1080 and this is a um, an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 you can see that right here uh, which is the exact same aspect ratio of YouTube video so make sure it's at least full HD uh, you can go for HD but that's like uh, past tense right now so we're 2016 everyone should produce uh, full HD in my opinion so uh, go for square pixels if you're online so uh, the pixels online are always square pixels so that's great and a frame rate depends on the video you want to make uh, frame rate isn't that important uh, 24 is for a cinematic film, uh, 25 is for example here in Belgium uh, we use uh, 25 on broadcast TV but like in uh, America that's like 30 so it really depends on whatever you are trying to accomplish most cases if I make tutorials they are at 30 FPS and if I make a short film or if I make something like that I would go for 24 FPS if I would be doing a gaming video uh, and you have the option to record in 60 frames per second then I would change this to 60 FPS as well so uh, that's a short um, yeah a short lecture on frames per second so uh, the time code yeah that depends on whatever you want to create and then you can just click OK so we have our video file here I'll drag and drop this into this composition and we can see that I have a video file here uh, but it has to load up so yeah okay there is my video file uh, my video is in 4k because I recorded it with a really decent camera which is the uh, GH4 pen from Panasonic and that's the camera I used to record with and that records in 4k so in some occasions I produce 4k results but even if I record in 4k I uh, downscale to full HD a lot so we'll downscale this to uh, fit our composition here and I have my video so um, the next thing I'll do is just go to composition here and yeah it has changed now in CC uh, before you can just add it to the render queue now you have to add it to Adobe Media Encoder because After Effects stopped focusing on rendering in the software and they wanted to focus more on the effects that they create to update their software uh, because it was a lot of uh, pain to uh, get render settings in After Effects in Premiere and in Adobe uh, Encoder here so um, they have only an uh, so now you can just link your After Effects project files import them in Adobe Media Encoder and here you would have a lot more options to change your render settings so what I would do is go here and go for H264 and actually <laughs> you're done you can actually upload it you can render it out and your result will be uh, really great so it, it's going to be full HD and yeah it's going to be top notch so if we're going to uh, the preset and we click on the settings here for if you really want to get into it, uh, you can go here and maybe boost the target bitrate and the maximum bitrate by a bit, but don't 
exaggerate. So I've been looking on YouTube for tutorials uh, about rendering in After Effects and like the first three tutorials uh, that I could find uh, on YouTube were all with really bad settings. So like one guy said you have to uh, drag them all the way up but the, the higher you go uh, the larger your file will be and YouTube can't even read it. So uh, the compression is isn't is really too bad to, to read it correctly. So actually is uh, 10 by 12 is good enough for YouTube. But for example if you're going to upload on Vimeo or something like that you can go maybe to 20 uh, to 30 or so just don't exaggerate it if you would go for 4k you can go to 50 60 um, but don't go higher than that if it's just for online like I all my videos look great online and I have never actually gone to 2030 so this is actually for the best kind of result I guess on YouTube um, but you don't have to exaggerate it by pulling it all the way up because the higher you go in this value the larger your video file will be as well so um, that's one thing I wanted to say as well and actually that's it uh, you can go for audio audio should always be at 48,000 Hertz um, but that's already set at correctly by default so uh, you can also save your preset right here to so save preset and you can say like YouTube full HD H264 for example and you click OK and then the next time you can just uh, go here and yeah YouTube full HD H264 and you have a preset that you can always use from now on and then you can just uh, render it to an output and just click here and save it to wherever you want to click OK and then play and then it's going to render to that location so you can choose your location right here play and it's going to start rendering so you can see uh, it starts rendering I'm going to pause it here actually I'm going to stop it because I don't want to render it but that's it and yeah once you have rendered your video go to YouTube upload your video and have great results on your channel so that's my tutorial for today if you like the tutorial be sure to subscribe to my channel also like this video and if you have any other questions let me know in the comments below and yeah thank you so much for watching and <laughs> goodbye